Hi students, I'm Abhishek from Vidyaguru and in today's session I'm going to teach you algebra. I'm going to take up a few interesting questions from the past year papers and I'm going to teach you that using the shortest possible methods. So if you like the video, please press the like button for sure, share the video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and while subscribing, make sure you press the bell icon also because that's how you get the notifications of our videos. As you can see, I'm speaking in complete English medium because we know that a lot of students from South India, a lot of students from Northeast India face some difficulty in understanding Hindi. That is why we record complete English medium videos so that everybody can learn without facing any problem because English is now comprehensible to all of us. That's why we record complete English medium videos because we know that a lot of students from South India, a lot of students from Northeast India face some difficulty, face some concern when we speak in Hindi. So language should not be a barrier. That's why our videos are in complete English medium. So if you like the video, I'm requesting once more, please press the like button and share it with your friends. That's something which motivates us. So now let's look at the first question for today. It says x is equal to root 3 plus root 2 and we have to find out the value of x plus 1 by x. Students, we have the value of x but we don't have the value of 1 upon x. So from the value given to us x is equal to root 3 plus root 2, we will have to find out the value of 1 upon x also. Then only we will be able to find out the value of this expression. So let's start working x is equal to root 3 plus root 2. Now, what will be 1 upon x? 1 upon x will be the reciprocal. Students, it will be the reciprocal. So, 1 upon x becomes what? 1 upon root 3 plus root 2. 1 upon root 3 plus root 2. Now, you know that uh, there is there is a square root, there is an under root in the denominator. So, what are we going to do? We are going to rationalize the denominator all of us understand that to remove the square root we will have to rationalize the denominator how do we rationalize the denominator by multiplying by multiplying the numerator and the denominator with root 3 minus root 2 root 3 minus root 2 is going to appear now in the numerator and the denominator why have we done that because students now you can see there is a plus b and there is a minus b in the denominator so a plus b into a minus b it is very simple a square minus b square sure so the numerator students the numerator will be what the numerator will be root 3 minus root 2 but the denominator will get simplified a square minus b square that means 3 minus 2 3 minus 2 so the value turns out to be root 3 minus root 2 so 1 upon x students now we have the value of 1 upon x it is root 3 minus root 2 sure we will use this value to find out the value of x plus 1 upon x so x we know is what x is uh, root 3 plus root 2 sure so i write root 3 plus uh, root 2 in place of x 1 upon x its value is what students its value is root 3 minus root 2 now it becomes very very simple root 2 and root 2 they are of the opposite signs they cancel each other out so root 3 plus root 3 the answer turns out to be 2 root 3 the answer turns out to be 2 root 3 option b option b that is the correct answer students if you like the way we teach then please make sure that you be a part of that you become a part of our live online classes our live online classes are conducted in complete english medium so that everybody can understand what we are teaching the numbers are given on your screen call our executives right away and make sure you be a part of our online classes that will be the best scenario now let's look at the next uh, question we have to find out the value of this strange looking expression x upon x minus z plus z upon y minus z but over here we have x plus y is equal to 2z we do not have a negative sign we do not have a negative sign we don't have expressions like x minus z and y minus z so we will have to somehow come up with these expressions which are of the negative sign 
So let's start working with x plus y, x plus y is equal to 2z. So now what I will do, students, what I will do is write this 2z. I will write this 2z as z plus z. Of course, 2z is what? z plus z. I can do that. Now, I will take 1z to the other side. Students, I will take 1z to the other side and I get x minus z on the left hand side. Sure. Now, this y, I'm taking this y to the other side. So, y goes to the other side. It uh, becomes, it takes a negative sign. So, x minus z is equal to z minus y because y goes to the other side, takes a negative sign. So, now, we have a negative expression x minus z is equal to z minus y. We are going to use this value in this particular expression. Sure, can you see that? Now I have the value of x minus z. So let's look at this original expression x upon x minus z plus z upon y minus z. Now what I'll do, I'll place the value, I'll place the value of x minus z, I will write it as z minus y. So in place of x minus z, I'm writing z minus y plus z upon y minus z. Don't these two expressions look somewhat similar? z minus y and y minus z, they look somewhat similar. And I can, students, I can make the denominator look exactly the same if I take the negative sign out. So let's do that. x upon z minus y short plus z upon, I take the negative sign out in the denominator so it becomes z minus y. Now what happens students, this minus, this minus sign will be carried over, it will be carried over, it will appear in the numerator. So now what does it become? x upon z minus y minus z upon z minus y. Very simply this negative sign appears in the numerator. So students now you can clearly see that the denominator is the same. We can very easily take the LCM. z minus y is taken as the LCM. The numerator becomes x minus z. The numerator becomes x minus z. Can you see that? And we have already calculated we have already calculated the value of what? x minus z. So now let's put the value of x minus z, which is nothing but z minus y. The moment I do that, x minus z, I place z minus y in place of it and z minus y. So they cancel each other out. The numerator and the denominator are the same. They cancel each other out. So we are left with a very simple one as the answer. So students, the answer is what? The answer is an exact one. I hope you have enjoyed the videos and uh, make sure you comment in the comment box if you want more such videos from my side. If you want some higher level questions from my side, do place a request. I think that much uh, is expected from you and uh, make sure you share our videos. Thank you so much.